Several areas, including Colombo and some parts of the southwest of the island, encountered heavy rainfall beginning last night. The highest rainfall of 97.7 mm was reported from Trinkmali during the past 24 hours. Several roads in Colombo were reportedly inundated following the heavy rains. Maradhan Road in Colombo was flooded following the downpour. <laughs> Traffic routes in the Kolonava area were hampered this morning as several lowlands in the area were submerged. Due to the heavy rains in Colombo, the sports medicine unit of the Colombo National Hospital was flooded for nearly an hour this morning. Due to the heavy rains, there was heavy traffic congestions in several roads in Batramula this morning, including the new Parliament Road. Traffic on several roads in Bindunueva in Bandaravela was disrupted as a tree had reportedly fallen onto the road last night. As a result of these rains, the irrigation department said that the water levels of the Mausakale Reservoir and the Castle Ray Dam had reached over 90% of its entire capacity. Further, the flood warnings issued to the Nilvala River Basin has been further extended due to the heavy rains. The irrigation department requested the general public to be aware of possible flooding due to flash rains encountered in urban areas. The National Building Research Organization issued Level 2 Amber Warnings to several areas in the Badulla and Ratnapura districts. Level 1 Yellow Warnings, meanwhile, were issued to several areas in the Badulla, Gaul, Hambantara, Kandy, Kegol, Matale, Matara, Nuarelia and Ratnapura districts. Issuing an Amber Advisory, the Department of Meteorology stated that severe lightning is likely to occur at several places in the northern, north-central, northwestern, eastern, Uva and southern provinces and in the Kandy district. Consequently, the general public is urged to take necessary precautions to minimize damages caused by possible lightning strikes. The Met Department further stated that due to the influence of the intertropical convergence zone, where winds from the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere converge, prevailing rains are expected to further continue. Intertropical convergence zone, that is where the winds from northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere convergence zone, is affecting the weather over the island. Therefore, current rainy condition on the island is expected to continue further. Showers or thunder showers can be expected in the most part of the island from 17th to 20th October. Due to that high intensity rain, that means more than 100 mm rain during the short periods also can be possible, especially central, Luwa, Sabaragamu, and southern provinces. And also, we can expect some heavy lighting activities during this period. Therefore, general public is kind of requested to take adequate precautions to minimize the damage caused by temporary localized strong winds and lightning during thunder showers.